Good morning. Welcome to CAMLOOK, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our collection. So join us for each new conversation. Did you know that you can find superheroes at an art museum? Well, certainly at CAM, complete with a cape. And the superhero that I mean is the ancient Greek demigod Heracles, or Hercules, as the Romans called him. You can always recognize him in art because he wears a cape made from a lion's skin, with the lion's head made into a hood. He supposedly strangled the enormous monster Nemean lion with his bare hands and took the skin as a wearable trophy. The object for today is our fine Athenian black figure amphora, showing the myth of Hercules and Busiris. Busiris was a mythical king of Egypt who decided to sacrifice any foreigner who came to his country as an offering to the gods. Hercules, the biggest, strongest, bravest Greek hero, visited Egypt, but he wasn't going along with that idea. Instead, when they got to the altar, Hercules killed the king and his attendants instead. Our amphora, or wine jug, would have been used for Athenian male drinking parties, so it made sense for the artist to show a Greek superhero winning out over foreigners. He even captures the action at its peak. King Busiris has already been killed and is slumped over the altar. Hercules has grabbed his servants with both hands and is holding one by the leg to use him as a club. The Egyptians are shown satirically with pug noses and faces full of fear. Have you ever walked around the display to look at the backside of this face? If you do, you will see a young man dressing for war with two companions with shields hurrying him along. There are also two older men giving him last words of advice. I imagine the artist is making the point that a Greek man heading off to battle would do well to be as brave as Hercules. While we don't know the artist's name, experts can recognize his wares by his distinct, sometimes humorous style. They call him the swing painter from one of his most famous pieces of a girl on a swing. We are usually taught how wonderful the ancient Greeks were. They started democracy, made great art and so forth, and all of that is true, but the Busiris face shows two downsides of their culture, their dislike of foreigners and their love of war. Maybe we can learn what to avoid as well as what to emulate about the ancient Greeks. My question for today is this. Do you have a favorite superhero? What about his or her costume impresses you? Share your thoughts in the chat below. 